Okay. I brought mine today. It is 10 o'clock Monday, July the 22nd, 2024. I make a motion at the special meeting of the Barrett County Commissioner to come to order. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Grant, seconded by Commissioner Perry. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. And we are in session. I'd ask everyone to please stand for opening prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. And I'm going to ask Commissioner Brewer to lead us in prayer today, please. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the blessings of life that you give us. Father, we thank you for uh, the way you take care of us each and every day. Father, we pray you continue to bless us. Bless us now as we enter this meeting. Help us to make decisions that are uh, that are right for our county and for everyone concerned. Uh, just bless us. Give us wisdom and knowledge. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Please join me for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Maybe see. Just not in the back. I know I signed up. All right. You didn't want to talk? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, first up is our consent agenda, items five through seven. We need to discuss anything on those. We can do so. If not, I'd ask for a motion to approve that consent agenda as a whole. I move that we approve the consent agenda as a whole. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Moore, seconded by Commissioner Brewer. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Move on to our regular agenda, item eight, consideration of burn ban. Burn ban is still off. Uh, like I said, we got a pretty good rain. Yeah, time. some of us got pretty good rain. I can get one of those. <laughs> I mean, it's sprinkled. <laughs> That's all I got. I mean, lightning, thunder, the whole enchilada. Anybody? I'm, I'm any? kind of the opinion to hold off as long as we can on it. As soon as we put the burn ban out, it's going to up the crash nothing on our roads. Oh, so yeah. you always do that. All right. So no, no action then on this. Is that correct, gentlemen? You know what? All right, number nine is consideration of approving purchase agreement between Integra and Navarra County Elections. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we were first referred to Integra by um, Jana in Ellis County. Um, up here, I'm getting up from the video on Um At a regional TA meeting, they are an election management software. They started off with oh, yeah. uh, oh, oh. FOIA request software. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically what they do is streamline all of the election process that like the SNS doesn't already. Um, they do a lot of local checklists for us. Um, they'll make it to where we can just click on one polling location and we can see the history of all the supplies we've sent them so we can kind of, um, you know, see what we need. Um, yeah, approximately, yes. Um, one of the best parts about them is they streamline the poll worker process. Um, you know, a citizen can click on a link we'll have on our website. Uh, they can apply to be a poll worker. We can kind of, you know, um, send it to whichever party they want. We can gauge their interest, stuff like that. Um, one of the best things is we, I feel like we spend a lot of time um, calling back and forth different people who might be interested in working, um, playing phone tag with them. And so the best part of this is we can actually send them a text message through a portal. And they'll ask them, are you interested in working, yes or no? And then if they say yes, they can choose a training date from there. And that, that'll that cut out a lot of the, the phone tag we have to play with them. Um, 
Another thing that's really cool is it just keeps everything streamlined. We can do our inventory from there. We can, uh, it'll track where one machine goes somewhere else. We can always have that audit log digitized of what happens to our equipment. Um, they also help with like digitizing all of our historical records. So all of the LNA stuff like that. So if you ever need it, um, you know, we can always go back in our paper files, but we'll have it all right there. Um, no, it's, it's good because, you know, maybe our staff won't always stay in the office. So whoever comes in and out, um, they'll be able to, to have everything they need in one spot because different people like to do things different ways in this school, you know, keep it. Um, this is more of an office management. Yes. Yeah. So it'll, it'll keep track of, you know, our inventory, help us do our election workers, stuff like that. Um, it is 90, I think 9,800 for this first year, and then it'll go up to 10,300. Um, but one thing that they offer that other companies don't is other companies that provide this kind of service. You can only work on one election at a time. Um, and there's a lot of times where we have to start working on two, two or three elections at once. And so we can work back and forth and go, you know, work on different elections at once. Um, so really we'll just streamline everything, keep it organized. Um, you know, if Karen or Diana leave and someone new comes in, it'll be easier to show them exactly what we need to do and just, you know, keep everything together. Um, it'll help us keep notes on different locations. So like at the Winkler Lodge, we can click on there and see if there's anything we need to send over to that location um, to make it ADA compliant. It'll just kind of keep all of our contacts and everything together. Um, but one thing we like is we can text through this portal, so we won't have to use our phones for that. Um, a lot of our workers like to text, and we don't want to use our, our personal phones for that just because it opens everything up to um, information requests. So that's something that we really we like as well. And that price includes all of the texting. It includes everything you would need with that. So if this is approved, will I get it? Will it all be in place by the election time in November? Yes, they say they could have this up and running by Friday or Monday. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a really good process. Um, cool. Is this in the budget? In your budget? I added it in the budget, yes. I think I added a little bit extra just in case because we weren't sure exactly what the quote was, but I did add it in the budget request. And she has talked to Tiffany, and Tiffany's been on the meetings yeah. and so forth. So Tiffany is aware of it, and she she's pretty glad to have it. Yeah, we've had several meetings with them. <laughs> they were good. Well, I'm making a motion we approve the purchase agreement between Integra and the Bear County elections. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Brewer, seconded by Commissioner Moore. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? You got it. Thank you. All right, item number 10 is consideration of approving a lease agreement with document solutions for one printer for the CISD Sheriff Department. Yes, they're purchasing one printer. Uh, to replace another one in CID, but it's also going underneath the um, supply meter lease agreement. We got solutions. Any discussion or questions, gentlemen? If not, I'd ask for a motion, please. I make a motion that we approve the lease agreement with document solutions for one printer for the CID share. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Grant, seconded by Commissioner Perry. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Number 11 is consideration of approving lease agreement with document solutions for two printers for the tax office. This is the same. And same this deal. Is this year, but it's to replace two of their data printers that they have and put it in with the same the document solutions for their supply and meter. Any discussion, gentlemen? Good questions? If not, I'd ask for a motion, please. I move that we approve lease agreement with document solutions for two printers for the tax office. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Moore, seconded by Commissioner Brewer. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion yeah. carries. Number 12 is consideration of approving an application and resolution for 
participation in the Techstar Logic Government Investment Pool as an authorized investment. Yes, right now we do have Techstar, but it's outdated. Uh, if we were signed up, we have Techstar during Kathy and Frank's term, and nothing has been updated since. So we decided to go in and reset up this account and get it back in order so that we can start utilizing it for our investment plan. So it's just like text pool is and take that price. It's just another investment. Thank you. It's very good reason. All right, any questions or discussion on this, gentlemen? If not, I'd ask for a motion, please. Make a motion to approve an application and resolution for participation in the Techstar Logic Government Investment Pool as an authorized investment. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Brewer, seconded by Commissioner Grant. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. 13 is consideration of approving to pay two invoices for O'Reilly Auto Parts without purchase order for a precinct two. Yes, this was an oversight on our part, and I'll make a motion of approving to pay two invoices on the, for O'Reilly Auto Parts without purchase orders for precinct two. Second. That was a you, that's right. Mm -hmm. Motion made by Commissioner Perry, seconded by Commissioner Moore. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Number 14 is executive session pursuant to the Texas Government Code Section 551.071, uh, parentheses two, and uh, to confer regarding matters which are privileged pursuant to the attorney client privilege. I need motion to do that. It is nine minutes after 10. I move that we go into executive session present the Texas Government Code section 551.0712 to confer regarding matters which are privileged pursuant to the attorney client privilege. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Moore, seconded by Commissioner Brewer. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. And we are in that session. Thank you. Those others of you who are not part of this uh, for coming today. Oh, yeah, 